My name is Ellie Drew and I'm a cardiac scientist at the Great Western Hospital and I'm going to take you along on a day at Wiltshire Cardiac Centre. Every day we have a morning meeting that starts at 8 and ends at about 8.15. Today's teaching is on quality assurance in ECHO, kind of like a group audit type thing. I support the cardiac physiologist in um, many diagnostic tests, um, such as this one, which is a 12 lead ECG. Um, this is a 10 second snapshot of the heart's electrical activity, measuring the rate and rhythm. One of the diagnostic tests we do within cardiology is a cardiac monitor. As you can see here, this patient has worn this tape for 24 hours. They have a short pause occurring here, which I will write up and send back to the doctor. They can wear these monitors up to seven days. Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to the Cardiac Cath Labs. I'm currently wearing LEDs to protect myself because we use x-ray guided procedures in here. Some of the most common procedures we use are implanting devices. This is an implantable cardiac defibrillator. This will help treat abnormal fast rhythms of the heart. We can also put gradual pacemakers in which will treat abnormal slow rhythms of the heart. Within cardiology, one of the most common tests we offer is called a transthoracic echocardiogram. This uses ultrasound to take images of the heart very similar to a baby scan. We use it to look at the heart size, structure, pumping function, and all the valves of the heart. So it's about 12.30 now, so it's time for some lunch, and then this afternoon I will be doing an outpatient echocardiography clinic. My role is to teach doctors around the trust how to perform focused cardiac ultrasounds for their patients when they're really unwell. Um, so we're really lucky here, we have this amazing simulator, her name is Eve, and she helps us uh, with our practical skills, um, but we can also use her to run specific pathologies and clinical scenarios for the doctors, which really helps with their training. In Wiltshire Cardiac Centre we also have a lovely admin team, some of which work here and some of which work remotely, just to make sure all our appointments are full and booked on time. We've also got lovely nurses in our department that help support us with our diagnostic tests. We've been doing some microbubble testing today to see if there's any communications within the heart. So what we do, we just inject some microbubbles into the, into the heart just to see if there's any communications. And as you can see here, we've confirmed that there's no, no communication. Sometimes we can put patients on treadmills to try and stress the heart. So here we monitor the patient's heart rate, rhythm and blood pressure as we increase the treadmills, incline and speed every about three minutes. When a patient has got an implantable defibrillator or a pacemaker, they'll need to have it checked regularly. We can either do this in person, in clinic, or we can check it virtually. When they come to clinic, they'll be hooked up to an ECG monitor, and the device that is implanted into their chest will then be interrogated with a piece of equipment much like this. Part of the information that we'll get downloaded from the device will include diagnostic information, such as how much the device has had to kick in, any abnormal rhythms, the integrity of the leads, and the estimated battery remaining in the device. 